Hello, my name's Anne Ruskin. Thank you very much for inviting me to your college this evening to talk about my experiences on a one-day archery course. When you were little, I imagine many of you, like me, used to have bows and shoot arrows from them. Wooden bows you made from branches, or maybe a plastic one like mine. Lots of kids love them. I even saw a little metal set in a toy shop the other day. Anyway, I decided that now I was an adult, I'd have a go at the real thing and signed up for a beginner's archery course. I had planned to read up a bit on the history of archery beforehand, not knowing much about it, but I ran out of time and only managed a quick scan through the rules. I found out more about it since, and it's fascinating. The archery courses are generally held in a variety of locations, depending on the season and the weather. In winter, they even use a large gym if the weather's really bad. I was happy that mine was in the field they use in the summer, though I suppose a medieval castle or some woods would be the ideal setting. There was so much to learn I really had to concentrate. It was far harder than I'd imagined to stand in the right way, but how to hold the bow correctly came to me relatively quickly. I was also taught to place the arrows in exactly the right position in the bow. Soon, most of my body was aching. The teacher showed me some exercises to strengthen my hands, so I'll be able to grip the bow tightly for longer. He told me my shoulders were too tense and reassured me that my arms would eventually become stronger if I practised enough. I hope he's right. Perhaps due to beginner's luck, most of my arrows went in the right direction and into the target, though I never managed to hit the middle. And I did manage to hit a tree, narrowly missing a bench and a bag I'd left underneath it. <laughs> that certainly wasn't deliberate. Someone else hit the target next to theirs instead of their own. There were regular breaks, and part of the appeal of archery is the delightfully calm rhythm. There was a lot of time to drink tea and enjoy the view, and I did plenty of both. There were some archery books and photographs to look through showing us how we could improve, and some people took the opportunity to check their phones for messages, but I preferred to chat. I asked some of the other people there why they had decided to do the course. In fact, I'd imagined it might be because of a website or something. In fact, it turned out to be because of a TV series. The archery courses are advertised on local radio too, but none of us had actually heard about them that way. The teacher made sure we practised loads of shooting, and it was thrilling when he finally let us do some scoring. There are rings on the targets, and you get points depending on where your arrow lands – it was fun to see how well I was doing compared to everyone else, and I must say I wasn't too bad. I loved it, and archery is one of those rare sports that almost anyone can do, including children, though they must be over the age of 10. Some of my friends have said they'll join me next time I go, and I'm working on my parents at the moment in the hope that they'll come along as well. Thank you all for listening. I hope some of you will consider taking archery up. It really is a great leisure activity. Now, have any of you got any questions? I'd be happy to tell you more about my experience. Now you will hear part two again. That is the end of part two.